All right, so what we got here is the solution for my transmission line issue. Um, I'm actually in the process of putting these on. So I've got some 45s, some 90s, and then attached to the 90s are these adapter fittings. So these adapter fittings are what will go on the filter housing and the radiator. And uh, I gotta take those off really quick, run them out to the truck, and start putting them on. So it is cold as crap out today. About, it's under the, it's under 15 degrees. It was negative seven when I got up this morning. Um, so I got the trusty heater out here. I've got the lines off from over there, over here, and then, you can see one down there. So then there's two. Whoop, getting fluid on me. There's a line right here that is disconnected. I'll move it in a second. But you can see up about where it connects up there. So that's what these fittings will replace. And they'll also go in this hole here and this hole here. So. Go ahead and try to get those on. So here we go. Okay, so now when I've got those on, we'll uh, go take a look at the fittings we got. I've got four nineties and two forty fives. I overbought just because uh, I really need to have the truck back running by Monday. It's now Saturday and the fitting store is closed on Saturday and Sunday. So preferably have the truck running by tonight uh, or, or you know Monday by the Monday morning by the latest. So I overbought some fittings. Big deal, use them somewhere else I'm sure. They're just dash eight fittings so they're pretty common. Half inch line. Uh, that's what I use for my fuel line, uh, for the transmission lines, and a few other things. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 90 and this 45, and I'm going to screw them up onto the actual fitting that's coming off the filter, because that's the one I'm most concerned with, um, you know, clearance-wise. So, we'll see what's going to fit where. You can see those fittings are pretty close to this radiator line here. So, I think I'm going to have to use a 90 coming off of this and then route it on the front side of the sway bar. I might be able to use a 45 on the other. I may just use a 90 on it. I don't know. Um, let's see. Shoot our bag here. We got a 90. So I'm going to reach up and get it screwed on. So it's, it's not tight. I haven't tightened it all the way. You know, I kind of leave it a little bit loose here. There is not much room. The other option would be to run off the side, I guess. I'm going to try to keep this 90. I'm try to just use it. I think I can run it. Yeah. That should be okay. And then I was going to use a 45 on the other one, maybe. But I don't think that's really going to make a difference. I mean, yeah, that's going to kind of run that 45 into the radiator if I do that. So I'm going to go ahead and use just another 90 up there. Now that I've got those two fittings on, the one on the right goes right here. So I just got to make a line that goes from down, from up here to over here. The one on the left, I think I said the backwards. Anyway, the other one goes down and here, this little area here, and the front, and then the other front one goes from the front over to this, got my fittings right here, I think I just want to do a 90, the thing I want to make sure of is that it's not going to hit this sway bar, and be pretty close, now I could just have the line loop around a little bit, but I don't, I don't want to, so the other thing I'm going to do here, got clamps to go on each 
line. This isn't really necessary, but I did have a line blow off a couple weeks ago, which I think is what started all this nonsense. So I'm just trying to be safe. So I'm going to take this hose, push it up onto the cord fitting. Alright, so now that I've got that on, I can kind of figure out where I want the line to go. Based off of how this is done, like this stuff, it can't hang low well enough for something to catch it, and I can still get to this hose fitting, and this hose in general. So I'm going to cut this about right here, good, so completed line, you can see it'll go up and around and all that fun stuff, now it's time to make line number two, this line is going to go over to here. Last up, yeah, this guy over here. I'm gonna go ahead and run a 90 off of that as well. From here through this little spot and up into the trans cooler on the front. And uh, we'll be almost done at that point once that's on. So I'll go ahead and make that line. back up with fluid and testing it. I do have some stuff I want to put on each line. Got some of this stuff here just uh, basically protection for it. Basically wherever there's a contact point, like over here I'm going to use some, up here at where it touches the sway bar and everything, down here at the frame, and then there's uh, two other ones that I made when I was building this truck initially. Those need to be wrapped towards the back as well. I'm going to do that. And uh, that will pretty much wrap it up and finally get to start the truck, plug it in, fill it up with fluid, and um, see what after that video and I've been a little bit busy. I've been driving on those lines for the last three weeks. So far so good. No leaking, no issues. I used to have a transmission fluid smell when I would drive. If I was sitting at a light for, a, for an extended period of time, which happens quite often, I would start to smell transmission fluid. I haven't smelled that for the last three weeks. So it seems like everything's working well. Uh, just wanted to you know, throw an update on this. So I hope you found some of this stuff helpful. Hopefully it gets you guys motivated to do some stuff on your own projects. And if you would, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.